Hey everyone, my name is Brandon Levine and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to take a look at how to translate an adaptive form in AM forms to a foreign language. So the first thing we're going to have to do is to check to make sure we have a translation service provider already configured. So I'm going to go to my tools, my cloud services, and my translation cloud services tab. Under here, uh, I'm going to click libs, and then we can see we have this Microsoft Translator uh, service provider already configured for us. Um, this comes out of the box with AEM. Um, so this uh, Microsoft Translator trial license uh, should already be included. And I believe the trial license um, has a limitation of how many lines it can translate uh, per month. So I believe that's the only uh, limitation with that. There might be some others, uh, don't quote me on that. So in order to actually start the translation process, I'm gonna go back to forms repository and I'm gonna go ahead and select this basic form um, I have already built out for us. And then I'm gonna click on add dictionary. So from here, I can create a new translation project or I can actually use an existing one if I have one, um, but we're gonna start from scratch, start a new one. And I'm just gonna call this uh, basic form translation. And then under target languages, I'm going to select French. I'll click done and then open projects. So under the project we just uh, created, I'm gonna go ahead and click on it to open it. Under uh, the properties, I'm gonna go under advanced. And then under translation method, I'm gonna switch this from human uh, to machine. We'll click save and close. And now we're ready to start our uh, translation process. So under translation job, I'm gonna click the drop down arrow, click start. And then I'm going to wait a second, click reload re re the page, and now it's ready for review. Um, I'm not going to review it, um, but you certainly could if you wanted to. Uh, instead, I'm just going to press complete, refresh again, and now it says complete. So now we can actually take a look at the, uh, the translated form. So I'm going to go back to my forms repository. We're going to go back to that form. We're going to go ahead and open it. And now when I go to preview, uh, we can see that it's still in English. And that is because uh, my browser's default language setting is English. And if someone were to open this form and their browser was defaulted to French, they would be viewing this form in French. So we can actually test out how it would look in a different language um, by adding uh, just a little uh, extra to our URL. And I'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so I have added the extra line to our URL. We'll click enter. And now the form has been translated into French. Um, it's not gonna work with any other language but French because that's the way we configured it so far. Um, so we tried German, it didn't pop up. Um, so only French is going to work. Um, we could certainly run the form through a German translation workflow and it would then translate into German if we wanted to do that as well. Uh, keep in mind, uh, the machine uh, translation is not always perfect. Um, so sometimes you need to check it, maybe even manually modify it to make sure um, it's translating correctly and how you want it to. All right, so that wraps up today's video. Uh, thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.